Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, March 2nd. This, whatever comes up, could have already happened. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be next week. Because the energies are fluid. These are the energies that I am picking up for today. Ooh, the Emperor. This is about wisdom. It's about authority, organization, structure. Could have something to do with a father or a family man. It's a very masculine energy. With the Nine of Swords, okay, there's been a lot of uh, depression, okay? There's been a lot of depression, maybe even some, you know, you could have been losing sleep. I mean, that's the typical meaning for this card. You may have been losing sleep over something or somebody you deal you are dealing with. You could have somebody in your life that is um, very depressed, okay, whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. We do have the King of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Perhaps there is someone who is starting over. You know, they may be deciding to broaden their horizons a bit. Go down a different road. Um, the High Priestess. Interesting. Yes, um, like I said, broadening your horizon. Somebody is probably following their intuition more than ever. There's, you know, they're following the script, okay? Somebody is, is, is going along with their, their written script after a period of depression. Maybe it took this depression, this anguish, this despair to to allow you or whoever this person is that, you, is that is in your life to get to this point where they're ready to expand, they're ready to go down a new road, they're ready to follow their intuition, they're ready to follow the script, they're ready to go with the flow, whereas I think there has been a lot of control where they were trying to keep things organized, keep things in control, but you can't go against the plan, okay? And the plan has already been written with the High Priestess. So I feel as though today is probably a day where someone follows the plan without trying to control the outcome. But we are going to get this zoomed in before I go any further. I guess that's pretty good, huh? So it looks like... Somebody is feeling more emotionally balanced than they have in a long time, okay? Um, and whatever's happening, I mean, I keep seeing something to do with a father figure, and this could be, this could be even a mother that it has to do both roles, okay? Somebody is, has been trying to keep structure and trying to keep things under control and trying to... Uh, keep things very well organized, but denying their intuition along the way, which has been causing them a lot of stress. And I feel like today is the day where they they can't deny it anymore, okay? And it could be because of the the full moon. It could be because of this Virgo full moon that is coming in and and pushing you or us to... do what you have to do, okay? It's pushing you to honor yourself, okay? So I think that's that definitely has to do with the moon. I think this full moon is, is, is pushing us to 
release things that are not for our best health, which is depression, okay, stress and anxiety, and to go with the flow more and more and more. Like, I feel like there's a there's a, a feeling of unconditional love here, a feeling of allowing things to be fluid because this is very fluid this guy is it's a water sign very very fluid so i feel like it's it's a time of of letting go of the need to control and allowing the script to play out as it should which which releases some amount of stress as the full moon would suggest the full moon would suggest that we cleanse and we remove all ailments from our physical body. So I feel that that is what's happening is that this full moon is, is, is removing or helping you to remove ailments that have been holding you back and allowing you to start a new foundation, broaden your horizons and expand elsewhere. Okay. And I feel as though... I feel as though this is really going to allow you to open up to in more ways than you thought, okay? Because it's going to be able to be able to allow you to open up emotionally to others, okay? When you remove the stress, you remove blockages, okay? So I feel like stress is in anguish and despair is being removed, being cleansed out. As you let go of the need to be in control and you let the universe drive, you let this happen and it, it really allows you to build a new foundation elsewhere, okay? I feel like you... Whatever's going on, whatever's being pushed out is for your best, okay? It's for the best... Um, possible outcome all right and i think that you have been in a mode of wanting to protect okay because this is very protective and i feel like you've been wanting to protect the outcome you've been wanting to protect part, maybe even the other people involved um, there's, and it feels as though now you can't, you have to let the script play out and you've come to that realization. There's nothing I can change. It's out of my control. The universe is in control. God is in control. There's nothing I can do. The plan is the plan. There's no need for me to worry about it anymore. I'm just going to let it go because it doesn't do me any good. I have to think of this as it being, um, this is all happening for the best intentions of everybody involved. So I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to go with the flow and not try to control the situation because I can't. I can't. This is the plan. I have to go with it. So it's time for me to just let it happen and whatever happens, happens. So I feel that many of, something is happening behind the scenes and um, it's bringing you a lot of inner strength that allows, allows you to go with the flow after a time of needing to control and protect and and be the protector I mean I gotta be the protector and I see I feel like now you're to the point where I can't protect anymore it's time for me to let this go it's time for me to let go the plan has already been written and I think the time is up the time is up where you you need to control you need to dominate you need to protect you need to uh, be the leader it's like I I don't. I, I'm going to let this happen. I'm going to let whatever happen because it's caused me so, too much stress in the past and it's time for me to release it so that I can get to where I need to be. And, that, and I feel like whatever's happening is with the best intentions of, of helping you. Okay, This full moon is bringing in energies that are going to help you to go with the flow. Oh, and it's the love card again. I think we had this one yesterday. Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force for change. And this is exactly what's going on. This is very dominant, very protective. Through love, but sometimes it can be overbearing. And I think you switch from overbearing to love. 
okay? And with love, you, that's unconditional love. And unconditional love doesn't judge. It doesn't push. It doesn't criticize. It doesn't control. It allows, okay? So I think there's a shift which is happening that is allowing you to expand through love. So today is a day of releasing worry, stress, guilt, toxins, ailments that have held you back and allowing the universe, which is, I would consider, the energies of the moon, to release these. So today is a day of going with the flow, allowing. It appears that there is some kind of reveal, okay, a reveal that changes everything, okay? Something is going to happen that changes the way you look at things, okay? And it changes the way that you look at things in a way that pushes you to look at this obstacle or this life or this path through the eyes of love instead of judgment. So this is what I have for today. Talk to you later.